Welcome to White Lecture Online. Before we can show you some examples of how to take the divergence and the curl in cylindrical coordinates, we need to do one more thing. We need to be able to convert from the unit vectors in Cartesian coordinates to the unit vectors in cylindrical coordinates. So the i vector here, the vector unit vector in the x direction, can be found by taking the unit vector in the row direction, which would be this vector right here. So we can go ahead and draw it right here and multiply that vector times the cosine of the angle phi to get this component right here. And then to that, we have to add the component in the x direction of the phi vector. We find that the phi vector points in towards the negative x direction, so we need a negative sign in there to convert that, so we get the other component that adds up to the x component in the Cartesian coordinates. So we take the rho unit vector times the cosine of phi minus, because it's pointing in the opposite direction, the phi unit vector times the sine of phi, because notice in this case we're going to need the sine component of the phi unit vector added to the cosine component of the phi of the rho vector to get the complete unit vector in the x direction. Now, to find the unit vector in the j direction, notice now we need the sine component of the rho component of the rho unit vector right here, and we're going to need the cosine component of the phi vector. So we add those two together, that will add up to the j component or the y component in Cartesian coordinates. And of course, in the z direction, the k component is the same as the z component because they point in the same direction, so no problem there. These are the same unit vectors, and we can just relate the one to the other. So that's how we can convert from i to the unit vectors in the cylindrical coordinates, from j to the unit vectors in cylindrical coordinates, and from k into the unit vector in cylindrical coordinates. Once we know how to do that, now we can start converting, or now we can start calculating the divergence and the curl in cylindrical coordinates. So stay tuned, and we'll show you some examples of that in the next videos.